speaking of tech that is realized stuff that we've been waiting for uh this one we've been waiting for uh, very impatiently but uh this week the news came out that luma Fu- luma fusion is luma now fusion. luma fusion it's the fusa <laughs> if you get that you probably have kids uh luma fusion pro video editor is now officially available in beta slash early access for yep. android and Chrome OS. And Chrome it's OS. it's Out not one box, yeah Chrome it's OS. not one of those things where it's like oh it's available for Android so you can put it on Chrome OS. They are advertising this when they tweeted it last October. They said we are developing this for Android and Chrome OS. And they talked about it IO and IO. Uh, Samsung talked about it at the Unpacked again event in February because they said you know before too long you'll be able to put LumaFusion on your Galaxy Tab S8. So the Samsung. Ooh, community, I wonder. I wonder if it works well in Dex. Oh. Yeah, that'd be a good selling point for Samsung. I'm not a huge fan of Dex, but Dex is still a cool concept. To yeah, me. I don't I know. still like it. It would uh, be neat if they made sure it worked. I mean, it clearly it works well on a desktop. Like, yeah. just do that same thing in Dex. Yeah, so if you're not familiar, uh, we wrote it up earlier this week, but LumaFusion, you know, there's a lot of mobile video editors out there. Some of them are good. Some of them are garbage. Uh, Kini Master is really awesome. It's really great on phones, but... It's a subscription, isn't it? It for, is for to get most of the stuff yeah, and to get the pro features. Just, they added keyboard shortcuts for Chromebooks, but they never changed the interface for Chromebooks. Right, like, and that looks the, like a big. Phone that's app. the problem. If you go to Kenny Masters about page in the Play Store, they specifically say Chrome OS, blah blah blah. They have clearly not developed this app for Chrome OS. They added some shortcuts and some keyboard support, and that's it. And it's a shame because Kenny Masters is really good. However, I've used a ton of online video editors as a matter of fact funny story i wrote the luma fusion article what was that yesterday yes yeah so the news was announced yesterday um or night before last it was official yesterday morning i had mentioned flex clip in my article because i've used most of the major online video editors and i will give them credit they are great at what they do but they're not made for really long video they're not made for adding a ton of like you get into about four or five layers on one of those and they get really choppy uh plus you're dealing with everything's being synced in the cloud it takes time and and a lot of times you'll i've made 25 minute long videos for for my church that they look great whatever you export them and then you go to watch them and the audio's out of sync you know yeah. whatever because you're dealing with something that's running off site but it's being rendered locally on your device anyway there are some really good ones uh clip champ is good um uh, flex clip is good they emailed me last night said thanks for the shout out here's a lifetime business license so yeah, i'm going to be doing a full review of uh flex clip very soon but we video is really good uh in video is really good and don't but, get me wrong i want like i personally would love for someone to figure out like would love it web-based video editing yep. that is pro level yeah i just i don't know how you get there yeah yet, there is something that awesome. the nfl uses where they do like real-time uploading and editing and stuff like that where it's all offloaded on the servers and it's that kind of th- frame frame uh, yeah frame is it frame.io like, i think it's, it's that there's two of them there's fra.me yeah. and there's frame.io one of them is a virtual machine windows virtual machine okay. thing that i've messed with like for gaming and stuff like that gotcha. the other one is that but i mean you're talking about massive bandwidth big servers yeah heavy heart anyway long story short if you're doing video editing and you're a youtuber you're doing whatever video online video editors are great to get started and they're even great for making some solid clean content but if you're really getting serious about editing you got a couple options and that's either you go you know final cut or davinci resolve or a few what's uh what's adobe uh premiere premiere yeah. you know and that's an investment and it's a learning curve and all that or you go mobile and you're limited or they don't work well on a chromebook now you have LumaFusion. It's been exclusive to iOS for a few years. It was uh, released for Mac once they came out with their M1 mm-hmm. chips, but now it's available for Android and Chrome OS, and it includes, I think they do up to, they do like six layers of audio and video each. They do audio ducking, which is really cool. You don't get that on. I've never seen an online video editor that does audio ducking, so it's or auto ducking for audio, so it'll duck uh, music when it detects speech and stuff like that, it'll automatically nice. duck the duck that. I don't know anything uh, about like yeah. video editing. You look <coughs> what back. You at just the early, edited a video just a few yeah. months ago. I'm I'm a cap cut kind yeah, of guy. Yeah, cap cut, cap wing, cap t- cut <laughs> to make the. Uh, I'll make my shorts. Chop shot. I basically just so. need to cut it together and, and line it up yeah. and send it out the door. That's about as far as I'm going to go. But LumaFusion really does add 
a pro level. Yeah, and if you want to, if you want to know some more about, it, I think uh, whoever wrote the article last year, I think it was Michael wrote the article about their tweet saying they were developing it. He put a video of Dave Two D, who edited a full video. If you know Dave Two D, David Lee. Uh, yeah. yeah, I think, and he's done it, and uh, what's his name, TLD, uh, yeah. uh, Jonathan Morrison. Jonathan Morrison's done it as well. He did, he did a project for another YouTuber and did the whole project. It was like the, when the first, it might have been the first M1 iPad Pro. Nah, it was before that. Yeah, but it was one of the, the newer iPad, when the iPad Pro was a, I can I can do all my job with the iPad Pro movement was yeah. trying to happen. Uh, he, he basically used LumaFusion and did a, a project right. and that's another. the thing that's a whole other story of whether or not you can but when it comes to editing luma fusion you see what these guys have done with this granted you have to know what you're doing but it has yeah. it has uh what is it color color grading it has a uh, key key framing it has come on keep it coming but <laughs> other the, buzzwords other buzzwords yeah, the thing that i noticed that was a big deal that you can't do with any online video editor is it does come with a few built-in luts and what does lut stand for lookup table so this is all for matching your colors and stuff like that right so uh it comes with its own built-in LUTs I think it has filmic and one other but you can import your own LUTs into it and that's a big deal because you don't yep. you don't get that with mobile editors or no. <laughs> online editors so if you are serious about editing videos but you're not ready to jump full in with something like Final Cut or whatever this is a really really stout software they've already got the uh, I will say this. I installed it yesterday. The The interface is intuitive. It, it's easy to use, but it's not self-explanatory. So if you don't know what... Okay, caveat. When the tutorial popped up, I hit the skip button. So, so I, I just realized that I that's just probably it. why. I closed it and yeah. I was like, I'm going to go back and watch this because while I don't need to really go edit stuff like i want to make like make a golf video or something yeah. i want to do something silly just to use it and see what i get yeah. so i started dragging things into the timeline and then all of a sudden i'm trying to scrub and i'm like i it, it won't move so like i could clip what's your 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 frame up top where you see the video what is that called is that just the preview yeah. so the preview there's a bar there that i could i could click and scrub through but i could not scrub the timeline and robbie's like i ah, try shit so yes shift and, and scroll, and you can scroll by. So, if you do the tortu tortu tortuga, tortuga, the tortuga, if you do the tutorial, it's probably really user friendly. I just, I'm, but it's super. Edible. I'm that guy. I scroll to the bottom and click accept. I don't but, care. You but know? The, to be fair, I mean, if it's going to be a pro level tool, there needs to be a learning curve. You need to have some pro level. Right, like it, yeah, it, back, it's silly background. to think like, oh, this is going to be easy enough for anyone to ever use and put together their feature film, and it's going to take no work. Like that's a silly thing to think. It's yeah. like saying like, I'm going to hand you this guitar and it plays itself, and now you can play guitar. Like, sorry, there's a guitar over here. Yes, uh, no, and, I'm, and just I'm just like, like I would buy that. <laughs> but I'm like, you didn't learn how to play guitar. You that thing did it, did for, it for you. you. It's yeah. like okay, I I uploaded my stuff and it auto created my movie like. Was that's what Google's going for with the Google fine. Photos thing, hey, and go, that's great. Have fun, yeah. But this, what we're talking about, is the ability to leverage your creative mind to make something, yeah. And to do that in a semi-professional level, there's going to be a learning curve. It just yeah. always is. Because if you, it, it, it doesn't matter if you do music, if you want to do color video, grading and all that other stuff, you have to know what that is and how to do it. Because right. I mean, like, I, it's like cool. Yeah. It does that. I don't even. I don't know what to do with that. Yeah. I'll just be moving stuff up and down, and I'm I'm color deficient, so that wouldn't work. So, <laughs> Robbie's videos all look really flat. I don't understand. Why is there so much red? <laughs> Wouldn't you think he'd remove it? That's I brown. Don't see it. <laughs> so, anyways, it is available. But here, here's here's the really awesome part: is that retail LumaFusion is only thirty dollars, and that's not a subscription. That is lifetime purchase. You buy it. You can use it on up to ten devices. If you go to the Play Store and download it now while it's in early access, it is $19. As soon as they uh, roll out the official stable version, you will be updated automatically, and you will have a lifetime uh, purchase of a really awesome video editor for $20. I pay more than that for some of the online editors that I've used. Which, by the way, thank you, LumaTouch, which is a company that makes yep. LumaFusion. Thank you guys for, A, building a desktop quality <clears throat> application spending the time to do it right, launching it on Chromebooks the day that it came out, having the interface ready to go for Chromebooks, making sure that it works on Chromebooks from day one. 
and then saying, this is a good piece of software. We're not going to give it to you for 99 cents and then somehow cram ads down your throat or make you pay for every other feature in here. We're going to sell it to you good old school fashion. Here's what it costs. If you'd like to buy it, you may purchase it. This Thank be you a for really ignorant that. question. Do apps on Apple have like ad tons of ads like ad supported apps and stuff oh, some of them do i don't i mean is it similar to the play store i mean yeah, like you, you just, get this and it's an ad every every three yeah. rounds of whatever and you're that doing. forces you into maybe purchasing that ad free version yeah, or whatever so it, it, which is fine it's this is a professional software and they're selling right. it to people who are willing to pay for professional exactly. and still twenty dollars if i don't care if you have a youtube channel with a thousand subscribers it's worth every if you're going to keep penny. making videos uh and you want you'd like to use a chromebook to do yeah. so and make youtube videos you need to spend twenty dollars yeah because what i understood you also need to go get a chromebook that's going to be good at rendering all this stuff. yeah what that's, i understood robbie to say yet. was if i get LumaFusion and i just drop my video in there it's going to create an awesome video for me yeah, that's all what you said. By, you don't no, have to learn that's anything. not true. You have to know what you're doing. But I can tell you this. I, I played with it for about 30 minutes yesterday. A lot of really good pre-made templates. Uh, they do have uh, Storyblocks is built into it. You have to get a subscription for Storyblocks to get all their premium stuff. But there are quite a few uh, free templates, uh, videos, backgrounds, audio, stuff like that. But, I mean, you can go to Ben Sounds and get free royalty-free music. Or you can get Epidemic Sound or whatever. So, uh, yeah, But there's, there's a lot of really good stuff in there. The only area I had a little trouble with was the effects uh, when I tried to click effects on a video track that I had in there, I clicked on one effect and it applied that effect to it. I couldn't find any place to remove the effect. There was no X, there was no remove, there was no undo, control Z wasn't working. And when I clicked the effect, it literally would just apply the effect again. So like I applied like a swirl effect and then I applied it again and it swirled it even worse. So swirl the swirl, again, please. I didn't go through the tutorial, so I <laughs> Did you try probably... the delete button? Chromebooks don't have a delete button. Try backspace. No. <laughs> search, search backspace. Uh, no, I don't no, know. I didn't try the delete button. But yeah, I, it's it's cool. I'm, I'm glad to see it's finally here. I personally, like for the things type of things I'm going to do, I'm still looking forward to this uh, um, long-awaited uh, Google Photos Chromebook video it's editor. Overdue, isn't it? Yeah, it should have been here by now. It's supposed to be here before LumaFusion, we thought, but it should be out soon. Um, but to be able to do the real basic stuff. So imagine, you know, like some people need Final Cut, but a lot of people could just get by with iMovie. Absolutely. That's what we're talking here. Uh, LumaFusion is going to kind of be that more pro ish level uh, amount of controls and, and choices you can make. The what's coming with Chromebooks and and Google uh, Photos, I think, will be more my speed. Yeah, um, I'm, I'm gonna be honest. I'm, I'm kind of excited about this because I I have a MacBook now, and I'm, not, I'm kind of ashamed to admit, but I have a MacBook now, and the whole purpose of that MacBook was to have Final Cut and get better at using Final Cut, which I'm getting a little better. But now I'm just like I'm excited at the the prospect of being able to create smoke insider videos and just edit them in luma fusion on my chromebook i yep. think that's going to be awesome all right thank you for watching this clip of the chromecast podcast uh this was just a little snippet little nugget of what we do here Jeez. so uh if you check the description below you can find the full episode of the chromecast podcast on the chromecast podcast youtube channel and while you're there and while you're here go ahead and click subscribe yep like yes notification bell yes that way you don't miss an episode because you never know when joe might not be here and we get to do all kinds of crazy stuff so all right we'll see you next time